Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Let's play with simulation nodes in geometry nodes some more, shall we? Here I am again in Blender 3.5 Alpha. This is the experimental build that has the new simulation nodes built in. And the last tutorial I showed you where you can get that and what the simulation nodes are all about in general. Now let's jump right in. Let's go to geometry nodes. Let's use the cube and put on a new node tree. So what I want to do in this tutorial is sort of like a particle trail simulation. So first let's put some points onto our cube. So we go to points, uh, distribute points on faces. And here we have some, that's a bit much. Let's turn it down a little. Okay, next thing we want to convert these points now into vertices so we can actually create geometry. Okay, so we have to go shift a point points to vertices. Now we have vertices and they're showing up over here. Okay, this is still a lot. I want less points. Okay, so now let's think about this real quick. How can we make sort of like a particle trail? We have a point or a vertex, we can extrude a vertex, which gives us a new vertex and an edge in between. And then we want to extrude that one again, with a new edge and so on and so forth. Uh, which means if we have our geometry and we have the first extrusion done, we do not want to extrude that first point anymore. Only the last one that we created, right? How do we do that? Let's see if we plug in an extrude node. So let's just look, search for it. We don't want, we don't have any faces. So we have to set this to vertices and it's already working. We are extruding along the normals, which is upwards. We can plug in a selection here. And this is how, what we're going to use to only select the last vertex that we created, right? So if we have a loop that extrudes uh, on the second frame, a second extrusion, uh, this selection here should only be the last node that we created. How can we do that? All we need is a set or a store named attribute. We want a Boolean on each point. We call it extrude and we set it to true. So now in the beginning, so if we don't have this, all of the points that we have, all of the vertices have the extrude set to true. The first extrusion creates the first point out here and the edge in between. But the extrusion also keeps this extrude value set. So all of all of the points now have extrude set to true. We don't want that. We want to store in our extrude only the top vertices. So only the ones that this extrusion created, not the ones we already had, only the new ones should be true. And then we use that extrusion or that extrude flag. Basically, we use that named attribute extrude in this extrusion, the next one, which creates new nodes. And then inside of our simulation loop, we're just going to do all of that. But for each frame, by the way, talking about frames, uh, we always need the timeline to work with the simulation nodes. Okay, so now we know how to do it, what to do. Let's plug it in. Let's just delete this. So this is our setup with the extrude set to true. Now we plug in our simulation input and the simulation output. We plug the geometry in here and in here and this to here. And now in here we do what we just talked about. First, we want to extrude. We want to extrude vertices. And what do we want to extrude? Only where the flag extrude is set to true. Only these nodes. And that's important for the second frame, the third frame, and so on. But we have to do this here to store our extrude for the second frame, which is going to go back in here after the first frame so that the extrude is only then the last the top um, vertices that we created. The extrusion, if you extrude a face and you extrude it out, the top would be the top face and then the side output of the extrude node would be the side faces. But if you only extrude a single vertex, that's the top vertex. So that's why that works. 
So let's see if it already works. Um, it's not working because we have to set this to true for the first node. And let's go back to frame one. So we have this. And then if we hit the space bar, we already have this growing outwards. So these are not just single lines with two points, beginning and end. They have vertices all in between on each frame of our animation. We're actually getting a new point and an edge in between. Okay, if we would render this now, we couldn't see anything because this is infinitely small geometry. So let's do something over here. We have a mesh coming out here. We can do a mesh to curve and then right away a curve to mesh. Where's that? To mesh. That sounds weird, but using the curve to mesh node, we can put in a profile. Let's just put in an arc curve because everybody else uses circles. <laughs> We're going to use an arc like so maybe. Okay. All right. So how can we make this look a little bit more interesting? Um, well, we can do more in our simulation here. For example, we could do a set position right in here and maybe minus 0.5. Does that give us something that looks a bit like gravity? Yeah, but it's moving everything down. We only want to move the last points that we create on each iteration down. So we have this. Cool. We can turn this uh, down a bit to maybe 0.3. Back to frame one. This arc is huge. Let's make tiny little arcs. Let's see. Frame one, space bar. Okay. So you can already see how this works inside of our simulation, where the output here is always being reused as the input over here. We're creating new mesh by extruding it and then remembering the vertices that we just created from the extrusion, setting the position to a minus maybe 0.5. Yeah, that looks cool. 0.8, I don't know. Yeah, cool. And then on the next frame, we use that geometry that we created. We extruded some more, but only the last vertices that we created. Remember the last vertices, set the position of the last vertices, and so on and so forth. And in the next video, we're going to use that same exact setup, but we'll introduce some random movement and we will make it stick to the surface of another object. I'm sure you don't want to miss that, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right now. Thanks for watching. See you soon.